Hello, it's me, Ariza Gaming. I'm a little bit late tonight uh, because the new hero for Overwatch came out by surprise and <laughs> I uh, got a little bit lost to the source, but we're back. Uh, we're doing some more Arboreal Airheads. Uh, let's just get right into it. Do, 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 do. So what am I doing today? Um, to be honest, I kind of just want to dig up a lot of the map. Like I want to dig up this bit I want to dig up this bit down here so all the hydrogen from the vent can rise up. That's kind of what I want to do today. Uh, we're going to build the rest of these transformers as well. We're going to finish off what we've already planned, i.e. hooking up the automation for these hydrogen generators just to the main spine rather than these separate smart batteries. Uh, just a few small bits, really. So let's just speed to it. Get You guys get all of this drywall built first. And then we'll uh, then we'll move on to the rest of the digging, because I queued some over here and they haven't quite done that yet. But to be honest, I'm kind of just here to vibe tonight. <laughs> I'm a little bit ill after uh, coming back from Scotland. Uh, it was very very stormy and rainy up there, uh, but we did the site visit and it was fine. And I didn't crash the truck, so I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> Yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, we'll leave on speed two. Yeah, let's leave on speed two. So I'm just going to start, let's see, what's the priority on this dig? So the priority on the building work is five. Let's make that an eight. Match all of that stuff. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, so deconstruct all of that, please. I would like you to build all these transformers as well, just so we can start hooking them up. That could be a priority eight. Uh, definitely hook up these pipes. So... What's the purpose of these pipes? I believe it's to feed the rocket so that we can actually supply it with water when we start going into space. We might go into space just to collect an artifact today. So there's an artifact here at the forested ore field. There's an artifact here at the destroyed satellite. There's nothing of interest left in the old space junk. Yeah. But there is an artifact. So I'd like to go collect those. We haven't actually done the cosmic archaeology achievement yet so that would be quite nice to do man this pink stripe looks really good in this hydrogen zone as i said before we're gonna fill this whole zone with hydrogen that's very much the plan i don't think there's anything here that urgently needs tending to i think all this stuff down here is running just fine i think we may want to increase the pinch of pepper nut plant production i think that's fine um you know what i'll print some grub fruit reserve that's fine. Okay. He's got skill points. Any skill points today? We've got, let's see. I'll just give you building. That seems fine. George finally has exosuit training. That, that took a while. I'm not giving George a hat. George gets to stay in his outfit, I think. He deserves to wear what he wants. Yeah, you got digging. Let's give you operating because you're interested in it. Snow Fox, you can have plumbing. Yeah, it's all good. Map readers seem to be doing all right. Yeah, you guys just have a lot of stuff to do. And I know if I run it on speed three, you guys are going to be pondering mostly instead of actually doing stuff. So we'll just we'll just speed to it. Wow, that's a lot of pipsqueaks over here. So that's the pipsqueaks. Is anyone actually going to come and auto wrangle surplus in here? It says pen status okay. Despite the fact that there's a max critter of two. Oh, maybe, maybe the babies just can't be wrangled. I think it's actually it. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, so we built the artifact analysis station. We're going to start looking at artifacts with that. I think, honestly, we have enough heat in here. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh we dropped some molten glass and it doesn't seem to have oh right there we go we just caught it on a pause moment i thought we just had a pool of molten glass just lying around <laughs> now nowadays Eesh. uh i think we can dig this up let's dig that up tile this in to destroy the regular water and then i think what i'm actually going to do is now that this water is much hotter because we've been running the metal refinery through it I think I'm actually going to open this up and we're going to put a lot more pinch pepper plants in here. 
And let's actually do kind of what we've done over here. So let's just insulate this again. And then maybe just something like this. So I want to get the bracketing working properly. I know they've actually released a test update where they've changed critters again. They've added some new buildings. They've reworked happiness a little bit. I'm just going to leave it until they update the main game with that, I think. It doesn't seem like it's going to... It doesn't seem like something I need to rush urgently to look at. Like, we'll look at it when it comes out. For now, I'll just keep going. Yeah, you guys can build all this stuff. It's not scolding in here, so that's fine. Yeah, please do this as well. And do all of that. Let's set new constructions. Party 8. Who's screaming? No one. Okay. Yeah, this wasn't doing anything to stop the heat transfer, so not really any point. Uh, you need to remove that as well. So you can strip this. Now, what are the odds that one of you traps yourself in here? I mean, Ari is currently trapped, but you're building, so that's fine. Yeah, remove this. Is that still going to count as a greenhouse when it's done? Let's see. Jeffrey McSquilliam has succeeded in not trapping himself. That's good. Yeah, that still counts. So that is 89 tiles. Not bad. So, oh, I've realized the issue with this now. So, these farm tiles are insulating this because this room needs to be kept cold. So I'm actually going to have to make this... If I'm putting the pinch peppers here, I'm going to have to make this a bit lower still to fit the auto sweepers in here. This is going to be a very lumpy room. That's fine. We do actually have the tiles to do that. So, we can just do it like this. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, my bad. Please deconstruct all this stuff again. A pit has wound up over here. I'm using. Uh, I can wrangle you, actually. Yeah, let's wrangle you. Let's see where you'll go. And then, I want to put some more of these up here. So, I guess just along here will do, and then... Let's just do that for now. The pipe will just run through here like this. And then we'll ply as all in a minute. We'll need to reseal this again, but we, de we definitely do have enough tiles to do this. I think this makes it 96. Oh no, the seven from here are coming out of here, so this is absolutely fine. And then... All I need to do is stick this here, and that should be fine. And then that should... That should be enough pinch pepper plants to actually get some positive bracking going while feeding those pips. That's the aim. So, let's just stick this here, that's fine. You guys are kind of running out of uh, oxygen here. Why is a skimmer? I guess it's not flowing over here very well. Well, I mean, you are all mouth breeders, so this is fine. Hey, grey area. You just quit only out of disgust as my cooling solution to turned out to be too good and dropped my base temperature to 10 degrees and that killed all your pinches. Oh, that's no good. Oh, wait, you're in, uh... You're in a CO2 zone. That's no good. Yeah, I got someone to do this. I mean, I think you'll be fine? Maybe... Someone else needs to be the one to build this, though. You're occasionally grabbing oxygen. I don't think you're going to suffocate. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> so you're watching this keenly. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we... This is how I like to do pinch of pepper plants. So we have a metal refinery. Cold polluted water comes in. We've got a cold polluted water geyser, so that's fine. We then heat it up in the metal refinery by about 40 degrees. The range on these plants is about 30 to 35 C. So, as long as the water's about 20, 15-ish going in, um, you can make steel with this and it's not going to overheat the plants. And then we're just recirculating that heat through here. We just have a big pool of polluted water here. We, we also happen to just be dumping our glass when it's made in this big pool of polluted water. So, that's been heating it up and the metal refinery's been heating it up. So... That's what I like to do. We started doing it just for the Dracos, so we could get some regular Draco eggs as well as some glossy Draco eggs. Uh, but now we realize how many pinch of pepper plants we actually need to make bracken. 
This plant pulverizer machine is very fun looking. It's not super efficient. You need a lot of plants to make a relatively small amount of bracking, so I can see why gassy moves are a bit more desirable than they were before. Right, our friend is safe now. That's good. Speed to it again. I still need to put fast track on, but I uh, I ran out of time for that today because I was playing Overwatch. <laughs> uh, I have a love-hate relationship with that game. Sometimes I enjoy playing it, sometimes I don't. The times I do enjoy playing it make it worth the times I don't, often. But don't, don't, don't play it. <laughs> Just don't. Yeah, put a tree in there. Nobody's in the gym, that's fine. Nobody needs to be in the gym. He's dead, Jim. Yeah, to be honest, I'm kind of here to just vibe tonight. Like, I haven't got any major plans. Maybe, maybe get some artifacts from space. That's kind of what I want to do today. Yeah, you can have digging level two. That's all good. But I'm going to give you the digging level one hat just because everyone else has it. Here you go. Wolfreg is sadly not allowed a digging hat, so they get to stay the exception. Well, George is an exception as well. George is George. Does anyone else need any Primo garb? We have a load of confetti suits. Uh, Stinky can have one, that's fine. I'll let George go around and... Ooh. No, I better give George one too. I'll leave the hat off. I'll leave the hat off and he can keep the... Uh, keep the nice hair. There you go, let's see George come over and put this on. Ah, uh, it's Stinky. There's George. There's George. George is so fast. Best dupe. Oh, he still has his shorts. Look. That's neat. I mean, I guess it's the opposite to me. It's dirty, because George is dirty. <laughs> but he's also charismatic, so that makes up for it. Yeah, I really like the pink stripe running through here. There's no point doing the Transformers, because no one should be going in there after a while. Same with this room. I'm not going to drywall rooms that are supposed to be automation only. We're going to move all of this. That is a plan. But let's get this done first, because I want to get the bracketing working again. Now that we've removed all the water from this area, it's probably worth us digging this area out too. Uh, so let's see. That's the actual base level. That's going to be all sealed off. We're not going absolutely mad on ranches this run, because I'm kind of tired of going absolutely mad on ranches. We had a lot of fun with the Halloween stream. I really enjoyed that doing a mad rush for shine bugs and honestly like we don't have any shine bugs on this planet but as far as i can tell there are shine bugs on this planet and they're still wild so i think we are gonna do shine bug reactors on these planets and we're gonna do them right and that's what we're gonna use for the radiation to run our payload launches because we're going to need to rely on payload launchers a lot for our refined metal, because that's all on Blagona. Why is it called Blagona? These names are usually puns, but they're just, I don't understand the pun on that one. Yeah, so Friday 9, all of this. Then we'll dig all this out as well. We have, we have the uh, seeds. We have the dash of salt vine seeds, so we can get rid of any chlorine. I don't mind about hydrogen. Hydrogen can just rise up to the top of the base. Uh, not a big problem for me. In terms of salt water, so... So let me just describe what I'm planning on doing with this hydrogen zone past the exosuits. So the plan is everything to the left of the transformer spine that's inaccessible by the access shaft because there's no doors. Um, we're going to have it be automated, pip-planted, wild plants. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to have a load of sleep wheat. We're going to have lettuce. We're going to have other things that we that we don't really want to grow. And we're going to make a load of frost burgers for people. And we're going to make a load of um, berry sludge for rockets. Hello, Will Frank. Hope you're doing well. Sorry for the late start. I got distracted today. And I'm, I'm actually feeling kind of ill as well. Um, but well enough to stream. Do I not bother with mask suits for most of the base? Uh, I mean, we are. I mean, this half of the map is just going to be oxygenated. Maybe just down to... Oh, hold on. You're suffocating. <laughs> so I think down to this teleporter, that's going to be the oxygenated base part of the map. 
and up up here up to George maybe and we'll put stuff that dupes don't need to go in suits in that doesn't need to be temperature controlled over here and then everything is temperature control oh god why are you over here that's real bad uh let's Friday night this dig how did this even happen I mean you can get out of here pretty easily it's a good thing I was paying some attention and it's a good thing you all have excellent digging I have been prioritizing that yeah, get out of here. You're currently playing through beta and it's not as bad as it's made to sound. Yeah, it's uh, the way the map generates with all those high pressure gases and liquids, it very much strikes me as like a map that's really challenging if you're new to the game. And it's mildly more challenging if you're experienced with the game. So it sounds like something that I'm actually going to do at some point because it's not going to be overly frustrating. It's just going to be a, a bit more of a challenge than normal. So... I am going to do that at some point, I think. It was my backup plan for this Halloween. Honestly, I might do it for next Halloween. That's an option. Right, uh, this conveyor can just go through here. Man, it's so nice to be on a save where we have loads of metal again. <laughs> uh, hey Charmich, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. I love the little Draco balloons. They're amazing. My only regret is there should be a regular Draco balloon as well. Like, give us the option, because I think these regular Dracos are cuter with their funny little eyes. Their, their goat eyes. They truly are the goats. I don't think that's a controversial statement. They're the only goats. So, someone on YouTube actually had a really interesting point. Uh, something I didn't know about. So, we make Atmo suits and do loads of stuff with them. You need reed fiber for them. And they allow dupes to breathe in hazardous or uh, in non oxygenated environments. They protect them from the elements, stuff like that. Um, something else does that as well. Uh, it's lead suits. So, lead suits are actually kind of potentially interesting because they still protect, they still oxygenate you and they still uh, provide protection from the environment. They don't, they, they don't take reed fiber, they take lead and glass. So if you're in a situation, like, there's there's a couple of world spawns where you don't necessarily have access to reed fiber. Like, there's no Drekos around. Um, you can see my YouTube video on uh, asteroid types for more information on that. Uh, in those cases where you have access to lead, but not not Drekos specifically, I think it, or thimble reeds, I think it actually makes sense to do lead suits. The checkpoints are a bit bigger, and there's a bit more of a... Um, athletics penalty if you're not trained but i never even thought about it so that's something i want to investigate at some point any of you guys use lead suits for uh for things lead suits need glass however by the way how do you get whiskers choice award um roll of discord do you get it if you watch a lot you get it if whiskers chooses you Oh, where's Whiskers? Ah, oh, Whiskers isn't there. Boo. <laughs> you get it if Whiskers chooses you. And by that, I mean it's it's completely subjective and it's up to me. It doesn't do anything. It just changes your name color. Oh, look. Look at this. We're going to have to build a ladder so that we can access this one. That's fine. Yeah. I, I don't go crazy giving them out, but if someone's been around for like a long time... And I don't have another roll. I'll give them. I'll give them that roll. Whiskers giveth, and whiskers taketh away. Yeah, let's plant some more pinch peppers in here. So I like this because we have this little cubby hole uh, where we can plant these plants, and then the automation just underneath. It's not super neat, but it doesn't have to be super neat. I just want it to work. Farm station still works. You can still climb up here. Post a pic of your sleepy farm expansion. Nice. I'll have a look at that later. Well, Frank's done a run, and it's not too bad. Run lead suits just needs a good power source. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. To be honest, just having a pool of water to dump your glass in means that it's not really a huge issue. Like, unless you're really low on sand. Like, this thing isn't efficient, but you don't need a lot of glass. Have we looked at the beta branch? I was watching Max play it for a little bit. Um, well, I mean, I, I don't think they're up to the, the beta content yet. 
I had a look at the patch notes and I decided it was something that I can catch up to uh, when... Oh, God, look at this. Mealwood, you're going to temporarily uh, commit Sudoku. And just pipe. Um, it didn't look like something I immediately need to look at. Like, it looks like something that I'm happy to look at when it comes out in the main branch. But I think it looks I, th I think it looks like good additions to the game. I'm not sure how useful they'll be. I feel like a lot of the new content that comes out for Oni is making the content pool wider and it's not necessarily making it deeper. And I don't think that's a problem because Oni already has a large amount of depth. Oh, we can't actually plant this here, can we? Ooh. I'm gonna have to remove this order sweeper and put it back. Right. Plant this again. Um, so Oni already has enough depth. So I don't mind that they're adding stuff that makes it wider in general. But um, I would love if they added some new deep systems to the game. I think I think I think the whole pressure management rework is what I'm looking for. Is <laughs> something I want them to do. I know it pisses off everyone. I want them to do it. Make it so you can't just infinite store small materials. Incentivize using gas reservoirs and liquid reservoirs over infinite storages. Like keep, like yeah. I want to see a bit more tweaking of that sort of stuff, but I understand that's not what gets people to buy the game if they don't already have it. Yeah, you're gonna have to remove this. Sorry, buddy. Like, because, like, when you do the George quest, you get the building, the big shipping container. It's completely pointless. You know what you can have? You can just have a chute. You can just have an auto dispenser. Stuff like that. Like, it's, it's, it's just odd. Did we do a research? Why are we doing research? Germ sensor. Gas pipe germ sensor. Liquid pipe germ sensor. What are we researching? Oh, I accidentally clicked to re- I didn't accidentally click to research the lead suit, did I? Did I? Oh no, we're doing micro-targeted medicine. That's what we're doing. Okay. I believe... Why are we doing micro-targeted medicine? Radiation sensor. I don't know why we're doing that. Maybe I clicked it by accident. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we clicked this, I think. Oh well, whatever. You guys can research that. <laughs> I don't... No, actually, I don't want you to research that at the moment. Just, yeah, just stop. I got a bit confused, because right when we were finishing uh, Darkness Not Excluded, we were researching micro-targeted medicine for the radiation sensor. And uh, that was because we wanted to find a way to limit our Scheinberg reactor to a certain output. Like, once the radiation gets high enough, stop dumping eggs there. That That is what I want to do to manage that. Use a, you could use a new light sensor as well for that, to be honest. I've realized something that I should do. I should just put the loader here and keep this ladder here. Yeah, that's how I should do this. Auto dispensing debris in one tile helps with lag though. Having a lot of storage bins is have a FPS by a lot. I mean, yeah, but like... Uh... I dislike when the reason for not changing something is because it would cause more lag. Like, ideally the devs would just make the game less laggy. But, I mean, I know it's very easy to say. I mean, the good news is it's super cold here, so my computer is probably running a bit better than normal. Either that or it's keeping my room warm. Either way. Right, um, actually, let's make this Priority 9 as well. Oh, this is Priority 9. Why aren't you guys doing it then? Are you guys doing something else? These built as well, just so we can start hooking them up. <laughs> yeah, make these Priority 9 again. And then we'll put this auto sweeper here, then that, that can still reach everything. Yeah, that seems good. And we'll make it iron because I think lead is probably going to melt. Oh, not lead. <laughs> not melt, but like overheat. Yeah, if your auto sweep is melting, you're doing something wrong. When it comes to pinch of pepper nuts. Did 
Yeah, I want more Brackeen. Infinite Haku branches seem to have been nerfed, killed. Oh, really? I didn't think about it that much. Hmm. I mean, I guess that makes sense. It is very cheap. Like, you don't really want an infinite food source that doesn't require maintenance in this game. Like, the survival is the point. So... Yeah, if critters are too sad, they don't reproduce. Yeah. I think that, I think to be honest, it's a good change. Like, as fun as it is to make an infinite Paku farm, it's probably not something that should be in the game given how easy it is. Like, it just trivializes other solutions. This game is really interesting when you have lots of choices with pros and cons. If there's just one solution to a problem that you go with every time, it's not ideal. Like, say, plastic, you can do glossy Dracos, or you can do petroleum refining. In some cases, you'll have Dracos, and you can do that. And in some cases, you won't, and you'll do oil instead. It's like, um, same with, like, electrolyzers and rusty oxidizers, although that's not very balanced. I mean, you, you probably saw my video on top seven things I'd change in this game. I want them to make all the oxygen sources... I want them to make more competitive late-game oxygen sources. Because it feels like everyone just goes for electrolyzers all the time. I want to do a no electrolyzers run at some point to see how that goes. Just do everything off of rust. Start mining rust from space. That sort of stuff. Be interesting to see how many people you could actually get. Oh, you actually did the research? I thought I cancelled that. Oh, well, whatever. If they made oxygen vents more effective, that would be an option. Uh, I guess. You could make the hot, the hot oxygen vent produce more oxygen, but just make it extra hot. Like, I think that would be fine. Because it still doesn't have a huge amount of heat capacity. I, I guess, actually, if you're, if you're, like, multiplying the oxygen amount by four, and you're multiplying the heat energy by four, then it would start to be a big heat source. But I think that's fine. I think big heat sources in this game are fairly balanced. 1,000 degree, 400 a second. Yeah, maybe. You, now, you know what would be interesting as well? You can make a vent where sometimes it spews out one gas, and sometimes it spews out another. Like, sometimes it's oxygen, sometimes it's, like, sulfur gas or something. And I feel like that'd be another way that you can have a ga uh, guys be balanced. I'd like to see that. And you need to build this flyer as well. You guys doing all the drywall? Okay, this is actually mostly done now. That's good. You cannot reach these pipes. Um, yeah. Uh, if I remove this, you can reach it. And then if I remove that and put another ladder here, you can reach it. These mesh tiles are so pointless. Sulfur vents are the most fun to use and tame. Yeah, they're pretty fun. I like them a lot. Again, I did a YouTube video on that, but you probably already know that. I like sulfur vents. I like how the problem isn't necessarily straightforward to solve because the sulfur is just not very conductive as a solid. So if you try and do it the same way you do a metal volcano, you just have a bad time. Munch, munch, munch. Yeah, nice to see we're making some more aluminium again as well. You guys are spreading germs on things a little bit because you keep going in this polluted water, but that's fine. That's because I told you to, to be honest. And I'll do it again. Yeah, so now you should just be starting on the transformers and all that stuff. Yeah, so you've done that pipe now. So in a minute, we'll get water starting to go over here. Yeah, there we go. And then when that's done, that water is just going to recirculate. Oh, we can't build this. Here you go. Build this, please. I like this rocket. It's called the Inspiring Explorer L. No, it's the Inspiring Explorer W. We ain't taking any Ls. 
Lambda's ready. Okay. Uh, this needs fertilizer. Fertilizer. Also, processing a sulfur three dimensions into mud and sucrose is involved. Interesting. Yeah, I, I really enjoy that. Like how you set up the ranches and how you balance them, like the throughput of the different resources. And then when you when you get the salt, the sweetles and grub grubs to tend plants. That's one of the most. I think that's actually one of my favorite things about spaced out is the sulfur line, because that gives you another water source. It's just another. It's another way of getting water, and it seems like at the moment the game is mostly revolving around, around ways to get water so you can electrolyze it. I still think it'd be fun if they had more oxygen sources or more competitive oxygen sources that weren't water based. Like maybe some kind of mechanism for iron to rust if you expose it to like a load of oxygen, like a very high pressure oxygen environment or something. But then I guess there's no point. I guess that would consume the oxygen in the process. Hmm. Why aren't you guys powered? What's up? Coal plants aren't running. We're not out of coal. You just haven't fed it. What would be an interesting source? I think algae terrariums should generate algae. I don't think they should consume algae. I think you would feed them water. You would feed them CO2. Like lots of CO2. Um, and you need a large amount of light, but have them have them produce proportionally more oxygen. No, have them produce yeah, have them produce algae that I explained it better in my video. You don't need to have it consume water, just have it consume lots of CO2 in lots of light, and have it converted to algae mass. Maybe that they would consume heat. I'm just trying to make it more like real life algae. Because in real life you have the problem that I mean, speaking specifically as a fish tank owner. You have the problem of algae just growing regardless of whether you want it to or not. Like maybe that's a way you could balance it out. Like maybe maybe make it so that it produces so much algae that you have to clean it out regularly or it stops making it. Um, but I think it should definitely be a source rather than a sink. Because at the moment it's way too similar to the oxygen diffuser. Alright, there we go. So you guys should heat up pretty quickly because this polluted water is hot. Yeah, there you go. What about you? Yeah, you're heating up too. That's. Just... Are you heating up? You should be heating up. Yeah, you're heating up. It's just taking you a little bit of time. That's fine. Okay, so you don't need to do that. That's fine. So yeah, I'm, I think I'm literally going to start just laying out all these ladders. We're just going to start demolishing this whole bit because I know I'm going to want to do a lot, and I mean a lot of pit planting in this area. Rockets, I think, are going to be in this very edge bit. We're just going to... We're just going to remove all this stuff. Make sure to cap the space exposure. Oh yeah, that's true. That's currently vacuumed. Uh, let's see. Let's put some granite here at the moment. Now that now the poke shells have calmed down, you can come back up here. Uh, although that being said, you uh, don't currently have access. So how about instead you make a priority nine ladder here? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot I left that on. You know, I might leave the spook on for a while. Um, I, I've sort of hidden the Halloween decorations. They're, they're kind of just down in the corner at the moment where you can't see them. And uh, we still have the skull. I, I actually quite like the skull. I actually quite like the skull. I might I might just leave it there. <laughs> I don't know. The plecos like it. Let's see how long it takes for it to get covered in algae. I wonder what the Zebradanios are doing. They're all in the group. They're not usually in a group like this. They make it more expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I just haven't had any... I haven't... I need to go and fiddle with all that stuff again. Uh, at some point. Actually, yeah, don't think this out yet, because... You might do that before you do any building. So, changes. that are coming from next week. So, my new schedule starts next week, which means I've got Wednesdays as annual leave. 
So I'm going to be playing a new game, Mega Aquarium, on Wednesdays. It's an aquarium management simulator game. Um, I played for about 30 hours. Um, it's not super hard, but it is it is quite interesting. It's quite cute as well. It's like a 3D sort of game. Um, lots of different fish. Lots of different mechanics. Relatively cheap. Relatively easy to run on your computer as well. Um, so now that new expansion has come out that's added like deep sea fish and arctic fish and stuff. Um, I'm going to gonna do that for a bit. Why is this disabled? That's, that bug is still in the game, I see. No. Lander's not ready? Why Lander's not ready? I thought they were ready. Oh, right, you still need to fill it. That's fine. Yeah, you fill a fertilizer. So if we go here, you have a range of six tiles, 0.8 tiles per cycle. That's fine. So we can go out to an artifact that's three away and come back, no issue. Yeah, that's good. Why do I have a critter carry module? I don't know. <laughs> um, we had space, I guess. Space down. Oh. Maybe I. Oh, actually, the real reason is because I'm probably going to want to grab something from this asteroid. Um, maybe some bees? No, I don't know. Maybe a puffed? Probably a puffed. I want to try it out. Skills. Give me skills. Leofar, you can have... I guess you can have operating. I don't have a trailblazer. Oh, do you need both? I mean, um, I mean, I guess eventually I'm going to change it. Eventually we'll land in a rocket platform and take a guy back. Rovers can't build landing pads. Yeah, so we're going to swap this for a trailblazer. Once we've sent the rover. Then we'll build the landing pad and then we'll come back. Blueprints. What we got? Gloves. Ever exciting gloves. Well, it seems like you guys are mostly doing this now, which is fine. I did kind of want to clear out the space. It's not a huge priority. You'll next need an extra 400 to find metal. I think I'll cope. I think we'll cope. You're running over here. What are you doing? Oh, you're actually coming down here to dig now. Oh, okay. Fair enough. We gonna let any of this water out of here? This, uh... Semi-freezing water. Is there any point in doing that? I kind of just want to dump all the relatively hot salt water in here first. I think that's the plan. Right, you've now sealed this off, which means we can get you to dig out all of this. So dig out all of this to make the poke shells very sad. And then probably just like this. You don't need to dig this. Yeah, dig that out as well, and then all the sand will fall down. That's fine. You can dig this out as well if you want. There you go. You should be able to reach all of this as well. And then none of this is space exposed, so we'll just dig it all the way over here. Because I want to do this for two reasons. One, I want to collect all the debris in a random spot uh, on the bottom of the map. I'd like to actually use a sweepy to sweep up all the debris. That's, that's what I want to do. Like have it all land sort of at this level, and then have a sweepy collect it. You guys are still fleeing. Which one of you is fleeing? You're fleeing. Oh, you're getting attacked. Oh, wow. You're getting really attacked. Uh, down here. I've not actually seen poke shells properly beat someone up in a while. Where's the beds? Here's the beds. You got to have a bed. You Yeah, you're already going. Oh, you nearly got wrecked. 
See, sometimes they actually get aggressive and sometimes they just look aggressive. Like here now, like they're not actually going after the dude. Just one sweepy. Oh, we'll probably have several. I don't know. Let's keep planning this out. So neutronium ends here. So let's start doing a ladder over here. And we'll use that as the main shaft for all of this. Yeah, then just remove all of this. One Sweepy to rule them all. I do like Sweepy. Sweepy is very cute. Cute things get a pass in this game, even if they're not super useful. That being said, when I was watching GC Fungus the other day, and he had his pit planted areas, and he just had, like, Sweepies going and collecting it so that one Auto Sweeper could handle everything. I like that build. I might have to actually steal that. All right, that's all good. Uh, let's actually get these done so they're not just hovering around, not built forever. Because we're going to want them all eventually. Looks like some of them actually have already been built. That's nice. Because I imagine what's going to happen is we're going to have a lot of geothermal power from the magma. And we're going to have a relatively good amount from the minor volcanoes, maybe. But I'm sure we'll do some other shenanigans here. Anyways, I got distracted as well. I was talking about my new stream schedule. So, Wednesdays is going to be Mega Aquarium. Our Boreal Airheads is still going to be on Mondays. And Tuesdays, I'm actually going to go back to the Badlands Boffin save. Now that I know how to fix the stone hatch overpopulation problem. <laughs> uh, so, we're going to go back to... We're going to go solve that in the stream. And then we'll keep doing that run. And we'll do both our Boreal Airheads and and Badlands Boffins in parallel, and we'll see how that goes. And then Fridays, I don't know what I'm going to do on Fridays. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys either. It could be Oni, could be something else. It's Oni tonight. If I want to play like a random game like Noita, or, or something like Spelunky, it'll probably be then. Yeah, I like the look of this. So you're still waiting for resources. That's fine. We'll keep an eye on that and see if the bracking stocks start to increase. You got dropped somewhere. You can get wrangled again. Blueprint. What have we got? Got some brine. That's fine. More skills. We got a few. Frankie, you can have... Operating. Bert, you can have Demolition, and Ashcan, you can have Building. Yeah, so while they're actually getting on with all of this, I'm just going to keep laying out all the ladders. Here we go. Let's actually use the Shift key for a change. We are accumulating more plastic as well, so we'll have to go and see where we budget that out as well. Uh, you can also deconstruct this stuff. Let's not deconstruct the lab, though. There's no real point in deconstructing that. There we go. So, traffic overlay. Where do I put plastic? Probably here, so we get the metal back. Because we're kind of low on refined metal. I think that makes sense. <laughs> Boo, let me plan out. I'll just drag it real fast. There you go. But yeah, Scotland. So... I had to go on a site visit for work. Um, there is some pipe work that's producing a lot of noise and some local people have complained. So they want us to put up a noise barrier around the pipe work, which we are going to do. So I just need to go there and measure everything and check that we can fit it in. But the issue is there's like a load of, there's like a load of uh, buried cables and pipes that we don't know about. And I thought National Gas would know, 
which is why I went there to ask them and see what resources they have that we don't have. But they don't have any either. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do some ground penetrating radar scans to see exactly where the buried pipes and cables are to make sure that we're not going to come across them while we're building this acoustic barrier because it's going to be huge. It's going to be like a five meter tall wall and then the concrete is going to be really large because it's um, the wind load up in Scotland is very high and the wall is very tall and long. So that should be a fun project. But I didn't really need to go to Scotland to discover all of that. Like realistically, realistically, I think it could have been sold with a Teams meeting. But um, my boss kind of wanted me to uh, show one of the new guys what a site visit was like. <laughs> so that was the main reason we went, I think. Whoa, one stream. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're doing a stream. We're a bit late. Um, Overwatch had an update, surprisingly. I feel like you started much longer ago. Mm, no. No. I didn't today, sorry. I had a late start. We're going to get rid of this water tank eventually, so I guess we can start extracting all of this as well. I'll leave like a one tile thick layer just in case there's any shenanigans. Yeah, maybe just put a wall there. And then that can go over here. Diggy D hole. Oh, H2, how do you end up like that? Oh, oh, right. So we have two hydrogen vents that we're just letting erupt like, into the map. I'm just going to fill the whole left side of the map with hydrogen. That's the plan. We also emptied our spawns a lot. Like, they've still got loads of hydrogen in them. But I'm just going to fill the whole outside of the map with hydrogen. Uh, get rid of all the other gases, and then it's nice and easy. That's the plan, anyways. But our main plan for tonight is just digging. And then maybe some rocket travel. Actually, you know what? Let's do some rocket travel. Get someone up here. Do the rover. I, I know you don't need it for the artifact collecting. I think we need it to enable this again for some reason. It'd be funny if you made it a super cold hydrogen area. I mean, we could do that. Just above hydrogen's boiling point. We could do that. Maybe that's what we use all this power for. Once we uh, get this spine actually fully loaded. Now, the other thing is, we're going to want large power transformers on this as well. The only thing is, I'm going to want to make those out of iron. And we don't have a huge amount of iron. Actually, we have a relatively good amount of iron. Let's put those in so I don't forget about them. Let's make those party nines. And then at least we can just start plugging everything in and it doesn't really matter where uh, going. I don't want to make them out of lead because this area is going to overheat. Yeah, that'll do for now. <laughs> Liquify everything that isn't hydrogen or freeze it. Maybe. That would be a long time. You know what? I think I'm going to put the uh, lo-fi music on for a change. I'm going to redeem my own command. I don't do this super often. I feel like putting my own music on tonight. So you guys get to enjoy that. Hello, Paula Dean RL. How will the power spine work? Separating the uh, power in this game always confuses me. So I'm going to do a video on this at some point. But what I've done is I basically just built this column of transformers so that all the power in the base uh, is going to run through the heavy watt wire here. And that heavy watt wire is hidden from all the dupes. So you see the negative decor from heavy watt wire? It doesn't come through this side because of the tiles. And it doesn't reach far enough to reach this access ladder. So all the heavy watt wire is just in this column down here, going between the transformers and the batteries. And then what we're doing is we're leading the power producers on via a large power transformer with a conductive with a conductive wire. So roughly two kilowatts of power producers will go on here. So for this one, we've actually got all our solar panels because they generate about two kilowatts max. This planet does not get a lot of light. 
So they all go onto this transformer. That then goes onto the heavy watt wire. And then it comes out of these transformers onto another conductive wire. That then goes to all the power consumers. And then this makes it so that they can't consume more than two kilowatts because they're in series. And then that wire will never overload. It will just it will stop drawing power if it if it overloads. So nothing will ever break. So essentially, the really mini version of it is just this bit here. So the heavy watt wire going from this large transformer to the battery to the small transformers. And it flows from large to small and it follows the arrows on the actual transformers. Uh, you don't have to build it in a giant spine like this. I just like to do it. I just like to do it because I don't like the dupes running past all the heavy watt wire. So I like to hide it. And often I build it on the right, on one of the sides of the map. But this time I built it in the middle just because I've noticed that often I end up with just a load of conductive wire spaghetti across the whole map. And one thing to note is this probably does use more metal than just running heavy watt wire to everything you need to power. Um, so if you're really low on metal, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I'd just recommend using the heavy watt wire and eating up the decor penalty. But I don't tend to do that. It's probably why you don't see it as much is because most people would prefer to save the metal than build conductive wire everywhere. I don't know, I like it. Wait, what are you doing? Are you actually loading this now? Yeah, you've loaded this, good. So now I can enable this. Oh, we need to set a destination, right. Change destination. Let's go to the satellite first. And then, oh yeah, that, there we go. We're getting the uh, purple smoke or pink smoke from the sugar rocket. I love the sugar rocket. I think it's my favorite rocket, just in terms of looks. If you're lacking on metal, just get some diamond. You know, it's funny. I haven't actually done the drill cone yet. We're going to have to do that this run. We're going to have to test it out. I know, shocking. Right. Who's actually going to be in the crew? Probably someone who's not very fussy. And I don't think anything else matters. I mean, we want someone to go and make data banks as well. So... What is this errand again? Let's actually get some plastic dumped in here. So, manufacture material, plastic, sweep only, allow manual use. Already nine. Your cones are fairly easy, set it to infinite. Yeah, yeah, we'll set it to infinite. Yeah, so this is full of algae, it's max gas pressure, that's all fine. There'll be a little bit of CO2 in here, but that's not a real problem. I think what we'll just do is... What we can do while we don't have the mini gas pump in here is we can just have a dupe, dupe come in here with their suit. They'll breathe from their suit until the suit runs out of air. And then they'll exhale the CO2, but they'll exhale it into the suit. So it won't come out here. Eventually we'll stop doing that once we're dumping oxalite in here. And we'll uh, just put a mini gas pump here to pump out the CO2. And that way we're not going to flood our atmosphere suit docks with CO2. But I think that's fine. Right. What is this? There you go. There's definitely something wonky going on here, though. The hitbox for the begin launch sequence is intruding with the disable button. That's what the issue was. I think I'll try to power spine idea. I have four metal volcanoes on my main asteroid, so it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, I'm going to do a video on this soon. I was actually going to do it tonight, but um, my voice is still kind of shot, to be honest. So I thought I'd leave it. Um, I'm uploading the darkness not excluded... Um, marathon stream in four parts so the second part's out and the other two will come out I'll release this VOD tomorrow and the other two parts of Darkness Not Excluded will come after that and then it'll be all the new week stuff yes yeah, so you built all that that's good uh, we'll just leave that for now until we grab some more iron Let's actually let's actually get a rocket trip done. So who's going to be our pilot? George. George is going to be the pilot. That makes sense because his morale requirements are low and his skill is high. So we need to give George rocket piloting when he gets the moment, which he should get fairly soon. We just need to act. Actually, some dupes already have rocket piloting. Let's see. Oh, George already has rocket piloting. Well, that makes things a lot easier. <laughs> All right, George, it is. Yeah, because I gave it to him because he's got suit training. Okay. 
so yeah, water's ready to go. If we go check this out, this pipe is all full of water for the wall toilet. That's all good. Yeah. Uh, only thing we need in here now is food. Oh, Neo has decided to use the toilet. Excellent. Good job. Um, I guess it's fine. They love doing that for some reason. We're going to come out down here. It's not a problem. <laughs> right. So we need food. What food do we have? We do have a little bit of berry sludge. It's going to be a short trip, so let's just take let's just put the berry sludge in here. So edible berry sludge, yes. Ooh, new blueprint. What have we got? Let's see. We got the yellow wallpaper. Do I already have this one? Let's check. We do. Okay, well at least that's a duplicate. We've got 800 filament. We need 1600 before we can do what we want with it. That's fine. Right, uh, let's see. Berry sludge should just be by the micro busher because we've set it to not go in the freezer. So sweep that up. Oh, that's actually the thing I'm most excited about with the new update. It's the uh, dehydrator and the rehydrator. I'm interested to see how big the rehydrator is because having the option to dehydrate food, put it like dehydrate frost burgers, like good food, put it in the rocket and then rehydrate it in the rocket would be interesting for space travel. It means that berry sludge isn't like quite so mandatory. Yeah, I know they haven't made it work yet. I'm very interested. That's to be honest, that's probably why I'm not doing the test build. I think once they update that, I might switch over to the test build. Oh my god. Phone users going crazy. Right, this food is all properly deep frozen again. It wasn't quite getting deep frozen just because the chlorine didn't have enough heat capacity, but we've cooled it down a bit more and it's fine now. The dehydrator does work. I've been very well hydrated today. I've been drinking lots of water. What else do we want to do? Um, I don't really care about all this stuff. I think we do just continue digging all of this. And I don't think I really want to go that much further until this is all done. It needs plastic and it produces six kilograms. Produces? Oh, right. It produces because it's sucking the water out of the food. That's not a lot of water. I mean, that's fine. You, <laughs> you, I don't want them to have like some kind of infinite water loop based around dehydrating and rehydrating food. That would be, <laughs> that would be very cheesy. Hmm. Right, skills. Let's see. Soil eater. You can get soil eating. Easy clap. Probably matters more for rehydrating in rockets. That's true. Uh, I mean, you're already going to have a water pipe going to your rocket anyways. For the bathroom. So I imagine that's absolutely fine. All right, we've got the berry sludge in here. Uh, let's just go grab some plastic. Although I think we've already set it to all... You can see they've actually built all of that. Uh, we don't need a huge amount. Let's just sweep this. No. Oh. What are you doing? Stop, uh, stop storing plastic. And then sweep this. So, George, presumably you're now going to go put that in the rocket. Let's just go... It doesn't look like you're going to rocket. No. <laughs> okay. Sweep that. We're going to have a few different commands on the go now, aren't we? Hmm. Yeah, keep digging this. Get the poke shell off you. Oh, it's Ari again. Ari is getting beaten up by the poke shell again. Well, I don't really want to... Just get you out of here. Poke shells are being a nuisance. Uh, maybe we should go put all the poke shells eggs in a room. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Let's see. Do we have a dispenser anywhere? Not over there. Right? No.
I'm just going to put them over here. Right, let's see. Um, that's not what I'm looking for, is it? Automated dispenser. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, just stick that there. We'll just power it like this. Uh, the automation. So that has been hooked up now. So these are turned off. So that's good. That means we can disconnect the... We can just deconstruct these smart batteries. So now the hydrogen generators will only activate if the spine needs power, which is what we want. So that's good. In terms of the coal power plants, I mean, eventually, are we even going to bother taming this, or are we just going to let it keep erupting hot hydrogen and just cool down everything in outside? I think we'll probably just do that. If we're filling the whole outside of the map with hydrogen anyways. So critter eggs, uh, pinch row, sweep only. And then we can spot pinch row and sweep them. Yeah, that's powered now. So you're grabbing that, you're gonna go... Gonna go do it here? No. Maybe. No, you're gonna go put it in here. Okay. Whatever. Are you guys fleeing? The egg is down here. There it is. Right, sweep that up. What's my favorite poke shovel? I don't know yet. That's kind of the purpose of this run. Once we start doing it, oh Ari, let's get you to the triage cop. Once we start making a load of polluted dirt, processing loads of lumber with ethanol distillers, I'll let you know. I wanna, I wanna actually try ranching poke shells and see what happens, but that's not gonna happen for a while. I wanna go to space first. And if we have poke shell ranches, they're gonna be over here. Right, so we got plastic, we got 100 kilograms. It's not exactly what we wanted. I mean, to be honest, it's probably fine for now. Let's just go. So, change crew, George crew, rounded. Let's get George in here. Let's get him on his way. Coming, George. Very neat. Um, I feel like the regular poke shells are pretty good because of the lime. Yeah, let me know what uses you guys have found for poke shells, because I haven't really thought about them very much, honestly. <laughs> You're still in the regular ammo suit, it's kind of funny. You're currently on downtime. Can I not force you to come in here? Extort George. Lowercase George. We skipped past him. Oh, we did. Yeah, there you go. You can go into space. And then you can relieve yourself. And you'll go in with your suit. As we discussed. There we go. Clearly the germ cleaning essentials is just so useful. The slander, the shade. That's no good. Um, right, so... Are you launching them, Rocket? Did I forget to save it? Let's save it quickly and then launch it. So, three, two, one, go. Yay. There we go. Love the pink flames coming out of it. Temperature down here is nominal. Everything's just melting away. Good stuff. That shouldn't affect these solar panels. 
Yay! Achievement CO2. The fumes just smell amazing. Yeah, I'm sure breathing in a load of CO2 is good for them. Freshly scented CO2. There you go. Launch your first rocket to space. Sometimes that just doesn't happen. <laughs> so we'll go here, collect the artifact, come back, and then we'll do the same thing for that, and we'll just analyze them as well while we're doing all this digging. Then let's see. You can go here as well. It's all good. A load of hot carbon dioxide, monoxide, and soot. Yes, indeed, you do need. These dupes just better be grateful there's not carbon monoxide in this game, otherwise they'd suffer even more. Dangerous levels of suffering. Right. Is there a poke pincher over here? There is, so that is definitely working. That's good. So if we spot any more poke shells, we'll just sweep the offending eggs. And that should do. Uh, what we got? No farters. Good. We got some more pips in here. Let's actually wrangle these guys. We don't need pips in here anymore. What are the bracking stocks looking like? Not super high. Oh, we're still storing it in here. Oh, okay, we're still storing it in here. That's fine. Let's release that again. Get the pips back in here, actually. Set this to 13 pips now. Whole gens now produce carbon monoxide to encourage people to complete super sustainable. <laughs> Coal generators now produce carbon monoxide to disincentivize you to ever use them, ever. <laughs> you thought you had a choice. Wrong. <laughs> I should not be allowed to develop games. I, I do stuff like that on purpose. Like, I just make, like, a mechanic in the game that seems really interesting, and I'm like, huh, you fool, you shouldn't have done this. Now, now everyone's dead. Job. Idiot player. <laughs> Again, this is why I should never actually be allowed to, like, write novels or, uh, like, a movie or something, because, like, I, I, I do all this dramatic build-up, and then rock, then it would be rocks fall and everyone dies. I just, I just psych out the audience. I'd get one shot, and, and I'd just disappoint everyone, and I'd find it hilarious, and I'd never do anything again. <laughs> we thought Hatches was too strong, so now you can kill your dupes by making power for them. Yeah, easy. No, just make it so that the hatches fart carbon monoxide. There you go. Easy. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. You know how there's like Pokemon challenge mods where they like give you like really crappy Pokemon and give everyone super good Pokemon that actually try and make the game hard. There should be like mods for Oni that just like make things like, like make things worse. Just make them more challenging for people. No, Neo, so what are you doing? What are you doing? Probably something plant related. You can come here and do that. Uh, and also, you can just dig this. In fact, if you deconstruct that, then you can dig these, and that should be fine. There you go. Yeah, now you're fine. This one lump of hydrogen here is just like, screw all you guys, I'm pink. That would you never die. I should probably move these oxyferns down here at some point. How's George doing? Let's actually see what George... <laughs> abandoned ship, let's just see what George is doing in the rocket. So George is using the machine in his suit. Uh, obviously kind of suffocating, but we're doing this so that he doesn't exhale CO2. And then he'll breathe in the oxygen when uh, he needs to breathe. And that'll be what yeah, that'll be now. So let's just see what the air pressure is. So this is another thing. Um actually I shouldn't be doing this because when they recover their breath in an Atmo suit, it doesn't actually consume oxygen from the environment. Like, it's not doing it. So if your dupes just interrupt themselves every now and then to breathe, you don't need to bring oxygen in a rocket. That's kind of silly. So we're not gonna do that because that's like a proper glitch. So you can unequip your suit. There you go. It's exploiting a lot of <laughs> feature. Um, that's definitely a glitch, and that's definitely something that I want the devs to remove. Like, the whole point is that it's hard to get oxygen in the rocket. 
So we're taking the suit off. Oh, you got minor radiation sickness? Oh. What's the radiation level in here? Oh, I guess you've been doing nothing but this for a while, eh? Do we need to bring some rad pills here? Was that the issue? I'm beginning to realize that when I've done this before, I've had a radiation eater in here. So maybe this isn't safe. Ports are blo bad at blocking rads. But we need to fit this building in here. I think we just make some rad pills and we bring them in here. Can we actually put medicine in here? Yeah, we can. Uh, so I think we just make some rad pills and do that. We do actually have an apothecary, don't we? Yeah, because we're making um, allergy medication for that one guy. We're almost out of that, actually. That's kind of funny. Yeah, let's make some basic rad pills. Why do I keep trying to make 100? It only goes up to 99. Yeah, make some basic rad pills and we'll just bring them with us. Until then, you're just going to get radi um, uh, radiated. It's fine. I'll just get a nice shot of uh, George with the uh, radiation face. Smiling. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> cool beans. So... I can see now why the actual piloting skill will be relevant. If you're going to get radiation exposed. Oh well, he's got he's got better piloting skill than anyone else anyways. So it's probably fine. You guys can just slowly keep deconstructing all of this. Uh, we will get more dupes if we can. But again, we're only doing mouth breathers. And I'm not going to use duplicate stat selector unless we've got like a frozen dupe or something. Unpermitted food. Right, so George needs to be set to eat berry sludge. It's fine. Do, 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 do. So, George, eat berry sludge. There you go. Cool beans. Uh, let's actually plan doing all this out as well. Yeah, because you've done all this now. That's fine. So, party ate this. And then you may as well actually dig all of this out as well because we're going to release all this gonna release all this water at some point so you can get started on that and then that ladder is coming there so what we'll do is we'll go down here yeah you can get started on all of that ladder as well if you really want and then we'll just have that ladder go down here so cancel that out deconstruct these things we have inspected these already. And then... Go on here. There's some more sugar down here as well. Sugar, honey. Do, 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 do. Sugar, sugar. Do, 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 do. You're my candy girl. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. <laughs> right. Here we go. Don't think we just like... We don't need you to do that yet. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I hope I'm not actually ill because I'm supposed to be seeing my aunt and uncle tomorrow and if I'm ill, I probably shouldn't be seeing them. So I guess I'm going to do a COVID test before I see them just in case it is COVID. I don't think it's COVID. I think it's just me feeling fatigued from having driven for like 12 hours over the last two days. Yeah, just keep digging all this out. Liberate the smooth sauce. Influenza or cold? I don't know. I mean, to be honest, like, I've had a very, very mild cough. And now I feel tired and that's it. So, probably just a cough. It's not that bad, honestly. If it was worse, I probably wouldn't be streaming, but it's not that bad. You hate the feeling of paranoia. Yeah, you can never actually get mildly ill again without ever thinking it's COVID. Lovely. All right, we'll leave that there. And then when this is done, we can just release all of this. You can release all this hydrogen, have it go up here. Stop worrying about this. And then we can actually dig all of this as well. That's fine. 
So people are accessing this in suits, so none of this actually matters. So we can just get them to dig out all of this. Probably fine. Then you can dig that out as well. Dig this out. Constant anxiety of, is this just an old cold or the one that's likely to kill people? Yeah, I find it kind of weird that people just stopped thinking that COVID was dangerous. Like, it's a little bit less dangerous than it was before. But now nobody cares about it, so everyone's more likely to transmit it. So if there's vulnerable people that you're still trying to protect, it's still a hazard. And it needs to be treated as such. Also, the fact that, like, you could get brain damage from it. You know? Did you really use up all that plastic already? Wow, you were really quick at that. I definitely need to bring more plastic. Oh yeah, hang out in the uh, non-radiation zone, I would say. Is that the non-radiation zone? That'll do. You'll start peeing all the radiation away. I'm, I'm confident, George. But yeah, with mouth breathers as well, there's going to be a lot of CO2 in here. So obviously, if we were just cheesing the glitch, um, we would definitely just put them in the suit. But we're not going to do that. Yeah, brain damage. Well, I mean, long COVID, long COVID is a thing. You know, people can stay mentally fatigued for years after getting COVID. People can lose their sense of smell or sense of taste permanently. It's a small chance, but it exists. It's never something you should completely ignore. Hey, Glavisk, how you doing? We are in space. We are sending the inspiring explorer W uh, to the satellite to get an artifact while we are very, in a very chill manner, just slowly digging all the stuff out of the asteroid because I'm ill and I don't really feel like doing anything complicated today. Uh, we did expand the um, pinch of pepper plants a little bit. So hopefully that is enough to actually get a good amount of bracking in here. We're already up to 13 pips in here again. That's good. You got it once and lasted two days. So I'm lucky. Yeah, that is pretty lucky. I think I've got it twice. Uh, the first time was pretty bad, but well, I, nah, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. It was like a four out of ten. Bad enough that I was like bed bound for like a week, but I did bounce back and I didn't have any long term symptoms, as far as I know. Um, and the second time it was very mild. But the problem is, I get the symptoms way before I test positive on a test, so the tests aren't really very useful for me. But I still take them. But that, I think for me specifically, they're not super helpful. Right, what else are we doing? So these hydrogen generators, they're connected here at the moment. What I actually should do is I should disconnect this, plug this in. Where's this one going? That's going to all this stuff, which is fine. What about these ones? Yeah, I think we just plug these ones in here. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll take these up here. I can just go like that. I can just go like that. And then this wire can get removed. Remove all of this. Unpause it. And then these generators can just go in down here. Let me put another large transformer down here. Yeah, I've got a bit more iron again now. Is radium a vanilla unused material or a modded thing? I'm pretty sure it's vanilla and it's just not used. Uh, so that can just go here. Let's make all this stuff party nine. And then we can remove those smart batteries. And that's all good. And then those are feeding onto the main spine as well. Oh, and I want to make this one a smart battery. Yep. And then the automation wire will go to that one instead. So, port is on the left. Should be fine. 
Yeah, the issue is that COVID tests need you to have the infection incubated enough to produce enough germs to be detected. That's also tricky about tracking COVID when the pandemic started. Yeah. Yeah, the reality is the world is just not prepared to actually prevent it from ever being a thing again. Everyone's just accepting it's going to make the world mildly worse because that's what everyone does. They accept that bad things will make the world mildly worse and then just keep doing what they're doing. Here we go. Those skills are all fine. Any more skill points? No. What about the star map? Are we there? We are there. Okay. Cool. We've collected the artifact. Let's come back then. You are clear of radiation poisoning. That's good. So change destination. Come back home. We'll see what your artifact is. And we'll do the other one today as well. What you could do for bulk energy storage is use rocket batteries. Yeah, that's true. We could do that. I'm not overly fussed. I think this will be enough storage. And we're going to cool it like we cool all the Transformers. In places of convenience. I mean, it's kind of that, but also that, like, if you try and take the whole mental load of everything that's wrong with the world on your shoulders, like, you're just going to make yourself miserable and never actually live your life. Like, I understand that you can't actually worry about every problem in the world. But what I'm saying is that I'm going to worry about it when it is relevant to people that I care about. So if I'm seeing someone who's vulnerable, I'm going to make sure I do my met my best to not infect them. That's my stance in any ways. It's like control the things you can, and don't worry about the things that you really can't. And try and control as much as you can. <laughs> I don't know. But it's just a, it's a touchy subject as well, because a lot of people just really can't be bothered with COVID anymore. And they just want to pretend it doesn't exist at all, and they'll get angry at you if they if you even ask them to do a test. Like, this is the thing. So, like, I'm having my wedding in April. Um, and that's going to be very nice. But we can't reasonably ask everyone to test for COVID at the wedding, because some people will take offense to it and not come. And that's just the way the world is, which is kind of sad. So we're basically just saying that we basically just having to accept that there is a risk of COVID at the wedding. It's, it's just like a risk assessment, isn't it? Like, you can't entirely eliminate some hazards without jeopardizing what you want to do. And it's annoying that that's the case, but it's just how it is sometimes. Yeah, I don't mind building this out of aluminium. You're going to be back in 1.8 cycles, that's fine. How's this all going? Yeah, you're slowly chipping away at it. You, uh, you are pondering a little bit, but I think this is fine. I'm pondering a little bit too. Uh, eventually, I'm just going to want to move these hydrogen generators, aren't I? I mean, there's no room for them in here with the transformers. It's fine. We could just keep them up here. Wall this in, make this more outside base stuff. Could be a thing. Everyone's having their dance party, very nice. So apparently we can still make some pepper bread. We don't really want to though. Coal generators. I do actually want to move these. Where am I going to stick those? Maybe I just stick coal generators over here. Maybe I just stick them up here, maybe? Even running at the moment. Maybe just leave them here for now and just hook them up to the spine. We built all this stuff now. We might as well. Uh, so let's see. Where can we actually plug this in? So this one's free. That one's free. So if I was going to do that, it would probably just be something like this. So that would go down here to the bottom one. And then I just bring it down here. And that can just go up here. But that's on the wood burner as well. That's actually fine. Um... 
Oh, and then I need to take all this stuff and put that on a different line. Got, got it. Right, okay. In that case, uh, what is this actually running again? This is running the Thermac Tuna, the Glass Forge. This stuff and the Pinch of Peppers. I can turn this off for now. So I can turn that off for now. That can connect up to these Transformers. Something like that, maybe. And then just send it over here, maybe. I'm just going to do this while pause, just because I don't want to screw it up. So then that can just run under here, and that can just connect in here. So let's make that all Friday night, and then that should work immediately. Yeah, okay. Yeah, get that built, please. No leak and 100 kilojoules of storage. Oh, so rocket batteries don't leak heat? Ah. Well, that is interesting. I've seen Too Legit City do a lot of cheesing of mechanics with rockets, like the gas, like the like using the space spare containers, uh, just having them in the base to um, store things in more space. I think I'm gonna not do that for now, but it is cool that you can use the rockets in that way. Hello, Snowfox. Just saw the new testing patch notes. Time to start a new colony. Yeah, actually, there is a new story trait: the Biobot Builder or whatever. Um, we're gonna look at that in another run. I don't want to focus on. I've got enough stuff to focus on this run. I don't want to have more story traits yet. We'll save that for another run. Which again is why I'm not super hyped to start a new run immediately. How's this going? Looks like the amount is going down. So let's keep an eye on that. We might need yet more pinch of pepper plants. Oh god. I don't really want to duplicate this whole bit down here because it's already getting very disorganized. That is 84 tiles, so we probably could make more up here. The issue then is that we're starting to have a hot area actually next to this cool area. If I have those plants go too far this way, then it's probably going to start interfering with it. Although that said, it's going to come all the way in here as well. Probably not too far. Incredible mechanics with some new food storage. Yeah, like, we're messing around with critter mechanics at the moment. Um... I guess when it actually comes out on the main build, I will have to switch to that, and that's probably going to affect what we're doing with the Critter Fountains, etc. It's in the bod. But yeah, I'm not in a rush. The base is fine as it is. We got another mouth breather, okay. Oh god, okay. Alright, Devon. So you're a plus 15 cook with Critter Ranching 1, but you're a mouth breather and you're anemic, so your run speed is super low. You have decreased medicine, which is fine. This is this is not a good dupe. Like <laughs> anemic and mouth breather. But uh we we're taking mouth breathers. And actually, if you're gonna have an anemic, like cooking isn't bad because they're just gonna be standing in front of the stove all day. We do already have a chef though. I think I'm actually gonna pass. Like on another run, I probably would take an anemic chef. But like like if they were this good. But mouth breather as well. Like, we could be a bit more selective. 75 speed doesn't matter. I mean, it's basically like... Like, 1.75 chefs. Except these... Actually, so the thing is, I think it does matter. Because if you've got like a kitchen with one grill, then you're limited by the throughput of that grill on the food that you're cooking. So having someone, having one person cook at that one grill 75% faster is, is, is sort of similar to having two cooks on two grills, except you're still only using one grill. And the obvious answer is just build more grills. And that's what you should do in general, is just build more grills if you're not cooking all your food on time. But, uh, yeah, no, we're going to pass on Devon. We're going to get some Draco eggs. And obviously, as a mouth breather, it's not worth it because it's twice the oxygen anyways. It's taking up the oxygen of two dupes as well. So there's literally no point. I mean, on this run, we're doing mouth breathers only, but I'm going to pass on an anemic mouth breather. Much to your relief, I imagine. Middle mouse button has stopped working again. We're not doing plants here. Let's just remove these. 
Remove these tiles. Replace those again. Perfect dupe for the resin tree planet. I do want to do that in this run. I want to go to the resin tree planet and actually get that working. Because I've not done that before. Let's make some iso resin. Do that stuff. At least. Who is suffocating? Again. We're going to have a... You're suffocating. You're out of algae. How much algae did you put in this? Not enough. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Abandoned ship? Yeah. Maybe. How far are you? You're a cycle away. The thing about abandoning ship is all the resources still come back. They land on the planet. So I think we actually just do do this. Literally. You want to see that ejection pod animation? Yeah, we'll do it. Whatever. George. <laughs> no. Okay, we're going to do it just for the funny. So that's a note. I need to dump way more algae in there. I think it would have been fine if they weren't a mouth breather. That's interesting. The rocket is equipped with an emergency escape system. The rocket self-destruct sequence can be triggered to destroy and propel fragments of the ship towards the nearest planetoid. Any duplicates on board will be safely delivered in escape pods. Confirm. And now it's in bold. Uh-oh. Let's see what happens. <laughs> George! We got debris. We got the escape pod. Nice. Well, let's uh, let's speed it up and keep an eye out for when that happens. <laughs> the inspiring explorer W is no more. Maybe it was the inspiring explorer L. Let's see how many resources we get back. At least it's actually heading back towards the right planet as well. That would have been uh, disastrous otherwise. That being said, if that's destroyed the artifact, I, I might just reload it. Duplicate crash landed. Oh no! <laughs> George! George, you're over here. You landed in... Oh my god, he landed in the one tile gap in the, the solar panel. <laughs> George, no! Ah, uh, right. Holding breath. So you've still got 100% breath. Now, obviously, it's decreasing rapidly. You've got to be kidding. I mean, you can get in. It's fine. Uh, you are going to go back, aren't you? Yeah, you're fine. You're just having a bit of a wonder. <laughs> Escape pod? Yeah. Deconstruct this. George can get back nice and safely. Right? Right. And then we'll see uh, what debris we can collect. Thankfully, George is very fast. Uh, he is in a hydrogen zone. Well, that's mildly concerning. How much breath have you got left? 77. Oh, you're fine. He gets to go through the hydrogen zone. Yes, your eyes hurt. You'll be fine. He thought you'd do a quick loop-de-loop -loop just for your uh, amusement. There we go. The animation where they jump out the door and slam the door closed and the door immediately breaks off. Yeah, we saw that on the, the one dupe per planet playthrough. That was a fairly short playthrough we did where we just had one dupe per planet. And we did set up on four planets. So that was that was a short but pretty effective run, I felt. So there is debris everywhere. Let's see. what. Let me select the debris. We actually select the debris. Why is it barking? Can we not actually access this debris? Gibbs. Is it because it's on the solar panel? What if we just uh, deconstruct the solar panel quickly? I think we might reload because I don't want to lose the artifact. 
I want the artifact. But we'll uh, speed through it then. I seem to remember that you actually got most of the stuff back. And it could have been all of it. Well, uh, it's not amazing. Oh, we're going to have to reload it a few cycles, aren't we? We did save it before we uh, launched. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to reload it. I'm going to reload it. We'll speed through it. I don't want to waste time. I don't want to waste the artifact. Oh well. At least now we know. So we're going to need to dump some more algae in there. We'll just dump all the algae in there. We don't need to burn it anywhere else. That's fine. How are the fishies doing? Yeah, fishies are alright. Hello, Mr. Platine. I haven't seen Whiskers today. Right. Reload time. So... You're not launching. Oh, God. I needed to pause it quicker. <laughs> Actually, no. Hold on. Hold the phone. Cancel launch. Cancel launch? I guess we can't cancel it. I guess we can't cancel it while it's launching. So, no, I'm going to reload it again. Sorry. Reload again. Let's get an actual uh, Arula tank. Where is Whiskers? Whiskers, come say hi. I don't know where Whiskers is. One of my air stones has kept uh, coming off with the suction cup. It's been mildly annoying. I think sometimes the plecos are able to prize it off. They like to hang out by it, but somewhat obvious reason. They just like the airflow. Also, there's so many big snails in this tank now. Like, I actually need to uh, move some of them back over to that tank to get eaten by the assassins, I think. Like, there's slightly too many in here. I keep seeing snail poo everywhere. Right. Cancel launch. And then we'll speed through it. View interior. Uh, algae. Yes. Organic algae. We have six tons of it and it's oh god it's everywhere right let's let's get george out of here quickly so change back to all i guess we'll speed to it after all and then we'll make a storage bin for algae and we'll just put it right up by space that's what we'll do so dump all this stuff and then make this for algae and make it yellow there Normal dupes are replaceable, thankfully. Oh, yeah. So, speed that up. Uh, what else did we do? We definitely did stuff down here with these things. That's fine. So, just redo that quickly. Uh, so, we built this transformer. Uh, I'll build that out of aluminium. Whatever. And then this battery needs to be done again. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to build the rest of these out of aluminium. That's no problem. Yeah, that's all good. Then that wire will go down here. I'll we'll connect in there. I think we determined we can just disconnect this and it's not going to be an issue. That wire will come here. Yeah, that's fine. Then you can remove all of this. Not gonna print any dupes because I don't want to reload and print dupes. And we didn't get any mouth readers, anyways. Storage bin. 
What's up? We got three tons of algae. Let's just get all the algae in there. It's not like we're going to find any more over here, I don't think. Maybe, maybe we'll find a little bit more. So then we were doing the coal as well. So that was going to go in this one. We're going to put, we're going to hook these two ones up. So I think this one's going to go here. Yeah, and I'll just bridge it over like this. Send that back here. That's fine. And then we were going to disconnect this. And we were just going to run that over here. Bridge that over here like this. Yeah, then that can just go in there and feed the glass forge. Okay. So you can priority nine all of that. I believe we did this as well. You guys done with the algae now? Um, not quite. Just wait for one or more two del uh, more deliveries. Uh, the bracken. What about the bracken? Yeah, we need to do that. So thirteen pipe goes back in here. We want to deconstruct all these, and we want to actually rebuild them this time. Are you guys all on break? What's going on? Soil eater. Oh, all the algae is down here. Uh, you know what? I think we're done. That's enough algae. 5.6 tons. That has, that has to be it. Who's made a mess? Bert's made a mess because I was yellow alerting him. Great. I do deserve that. Floor algae, yep. Uh, that's not going to break the liquid lock, is it? No. That's good. Yellow alert? That means piss. Better piss myself. Better drink my own piss. So then, let's see. So this one is going to go over here. And we'll bridge that. That will connect in around here. Yeah, that's fine. And then that's going to run off here and connect to all of this stuff. Which we do need to run. So that's going to be priority 9. And then that's going to go into this one here. Okay, so that is going to go down like this. I'm going to rearrange this just a little bit. So that one is actually going to be down here. And by down here, I mean up here. I'll go like that. And then that one is for the actual power producers. So I'll go in here. And again, the reason I'm doing this is because the conductive wire does not have a decor penalty. The bridges do, but it's relatively minor. So that needs to be priority nine. This could be priority eight and then everything else could be priority seven, I guess. So what other tasks do we have? Oh, right. Oh, my gosh. Hey, look. Let's build these. Build those, and then we'll uh, replace all those tiles in a minute. Uh, there are two pips in here that we can wrangle as well. 
can go here and here. Should I use Rainy Maul to get some Rad Bolts? Or try with something else? Not with the manual gen. How, how would you do it without the manual gen? Oh, did you actually grab the rest of the algae? You did. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay. Well, whatever. So sweep that. Uh, turn this off. Or we'll make that party five. And then you should dump all the algae in here. So we'll set that to algae. Sweep only. Just the passive radiation produced is several thousand kilograms. I don't know. I mean, you don't have any wheeze warts, you don't have any shine bolts or shine bugs. Skills. A few bugs, no wheeze warts. Honestly, I would just set up a shine bug reactor. So I'll push Ibug Reactor and use the sensor to limit where the eggs are going and drown the rest of them. That's what I'd do. You'll get so much more radiation from that, and it's basically free. I mean, I guess you have a rancher. Oh, you have one dupe? Oh, if you just one dupe, then yeah, just... Do, just, uh... Yeah... Whatever requires as little uh, automation as possible, or as little uh, as little manual dupe input as possible, I would suggest. Right, Leofar, just dump the thing in here, and then let's go again. I want to do these trips. Let's get them both done today. Can we do them in an hour? Maybe. I might just speed through it so that we can get it done. I know the rest of the stuff will be less efficient, but that's fine, honestly. Pinch row. Sweep this. We did set up the thing, didn't we? Yeah, that's fine. Get those angry crabs less angry. Where's the AFR? Ah, uh, Neo's doing it now. I guess a few of you are going to be doing it. And then what we can do as well is because... So this one is going to have to be a smart battery. And then... That one is also going to have to be a smart battery. And I need to put one down here as well. So we can make that one out of iron. And I guess we'll make this one out of... Aluminium when that's done. And then the automation wire, we need to do that as well. So I can just go like this. And then... So that needs to go here. So we'll just run that through the tile. And then... Which one is that connected to? It's connected to that one. Now the only thing is, the automation wire does have a decal penalty, but again, it's not very big. So we'll do that, and then this one is going in... here. So that wire will come down here this one you know what i've had enough of this music let's turn it back on game music return so that will go over here and again i'll send that through this floor the less of a decal penalty that's fine. Okay. It's all good. Do 
You done with this? Yeah. Uh, no, you're not. Uh, well, that's not a yellow letter for too long, or people are going to be pissing themselves again. So how much does this actually store? Yeah, this only stored, like, 273 ca uh, kilograms. This is probably going to be enough. Because it's literally, like, six times the amount, so we're probably fine. I don't really want to reload it again, though. Ooh, the black diagonal. That's a good one. I don't think we have that one. Supply closet. Yeah, we don't. Excellent. Ain't it black? Right. Um, let's get George in here again. Let's change the destination again. Yep. And let's uh, let's launch. Oh, let's bring some more plastic in here because George was bored. Where's more plastic? Really? Where's a bit more than that? Here. Yeah, sweep this up, please. And we'll wait for we'll wait for that before George goes on. He was bored but not irradiated. Oh, true. Um let's actually make those rad pills. Did you make the rad pills? No. Right, let's just start making rad pills. We'll load those too. Maybe we'll just do one artifact today. We'll do the other one another time. Quietly is growing. No water because... This isn't pumping because... Oh, the power is disconnected. Yeah, that makes sense. That does actually make sense. Yeah, the soil eater is doing their job. They're not eating soil, so that's good. And let's just bring one. Let's just bring one for now. That'll do, won't it? I love this painting of the puffs. I, I feel like this is actually one of my favorite paintings. Like, the Paku one is obviously good. This one is still one of my favorite. They're, they're so derpy. George is just like... You know, I had the weirdest dream last night. I dreamt that I was uh, walking around on the surface and uh, my rocket exploded and I ran out of air. Um, and it was all a dream. Yeah, we've got 13 pips in here again now. Uh, but you do actually need to do this. So let's probably nine this as well. How did you reach all of these to deconstruct them? Can they really deconstruct tiles from... No, they can't. They can't deconstruct the tiles from down here, can they? Oh, the guy must have wandered along and done it one by one. Like, he must have actually done it, the mad lad. That's hilarious. Meanwhile, Leofar's over here bullying pips. Yeah, Frankie's enough chef for this colony, for now. Yeah, sweep that plastic as well. How much plastic we got now? Yeah, I think you just dropped the plastic. I think that's what happened. While well, doing it the correct way we wanted them to. How rare. <laughs> nice. Yeah, none of this stuff is powered at the moment, so... You are fixing this. I just gave you a fair amount of stuff to do. You know, I just yeah, just priority nine all of this. Just get it all done. It, it all needs doing. Uh, that setting needs to be copied here. We need to build another battery here. And we need to build another one here. It needs to be priority nine two. You know, it's just doing their best. Having them really think it through. George is already back. I feel like you were just here a, a minute ago. You'd be slacking off. Oh, you're running out of power for this now? Yeah, because you're only powering it from one transformer. 
That is uh, indeed how that works. See, now both the Transformers are running, and now we're actually getting, getting enough juice for all of these again. Good. <laughs> Insufficient oxygen production. Great. Right, that's enough plastic, I reckon. Um, let's get George back in here, because I don't want to wait all day to do this. So, George, where are you? He's on his way. He's climbing the ladder. He's an alcoholic, it's not soda. <laughs> What's the... He's just using the carbon dioxide to, like, make beer. Is that it? Right, let's save it again. We'll uh, try not to screw it up this time. Begin launch sequence. Boom! We go again. And all this water is circulating through here so that it's not going to freeze in a pipe. That was the whole point of this. I think, yeah. Because it's feeding back onto this. Cool beans. Uh, Wolfrag, you've earned a skill point. Congratulations. Uh, you can have supplying too. And now let's actually check in on George. Did you bring the rad pill? I didn't tell you to do the rad pill, did I? Well, whatever. You're just gonna get irradiated. And we're gonna leave you in the suit until you start suffocating. Because that is certainly allowed. That's not a glitch. See how quickly you actually get radiated. He is very quick at this. Well, he's not that quick. He's quite quick. So you got 1.9 cycles. So in the meantime, oh, do I need to do all this queuing up again? I do. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just do this quickly. So that ladder was going to go over here. So that's going to come down through here. Probably have used lead suits for him. That's a good point. We could have a lead suit dock for space. That would actually make sense. Okay, that'll do. And then I can just come down here. It's alright, he'll just get irradiated a little bit. That wasn't a problem. We can tell him to stop doing the thing as well. And that'll get him to calm down. We didn't bring a huge amount of plastic. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Do, 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 do. So, take this all out again. Tweedles be sweetling. So, you see this amount of neutronium that we have over here? Um, like, it's quite a lot. Do you think that it would be possible to actually rocket shave all of that. Or is that asking too much? Because I'd like to rocket shave all of it and just put the rockets there. But I don't think I've done that in quite a while. Just shoot thousands of Brad's bolts at it. That's going to take absolutely eons. Also, didn't they change that? Didn't they didn't they remove that exploit? Yeah, there you go. You're not cheating any oxygen out of this. Yeah, eat your berry sludge. You heathen. Yep, removed and gone. See, it's a good thing I don't just blindly listen to chat then. You've been exposed. You've been exposed as a traitor. A traitor to the Whiskers uh, fan club. Uh, we can remove all of this stuff as well. It's fine. Toilets. 
Oh, you're fine. You do still need to do all those ladders, or those wires rather. These ladders can wait. Uh, this can wait. <laughs> Who's this? Bert is very eager to get started on just wrecking everything. These batteries are useless now. These batteries are useless now. That's fine. But yeah, they're just disconnected. Wish they made a way to remove the edges of the neutronium at the bottom officially. Well. Here's a thought. Maybe they just make an intermediate material between neutronium and abyssalite. Like, just make a harder material that you need hazmat digging for or something. Um... And then have the actual border be neutronium and have it be completely indestructible. And then have the other one be mostly indestructible. I mean, the only thing is corium just spews out nuclear waste, doesn't it? So it can't actually be corium. Corium in the house. Steel? I'll take steel. Why is it now taking you 2.4? Oh, because now you're in the thing. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, you need to do the change of direction, I guess. You got a saw back. I got a saw back. You're not even a, radi a radiator this time. Good for you. So we should add a few things to this list. We should add oxalite, which we don't currently have. We should add... Berry sludge, wherever that is. Am I blind? Here at the bottom. Uh, data banks, yes. Plastic, yes. Uh, rad pills, yes. And then there was one more. Algae. Yeah, there you go. Easy clip. Yeah, you're chugging through that plastic pretty well. Mmm. You guys not actually gonna do this? Wait, why is this? Oh, this is overloading because of the wood burner. Oh, I think it's because of this battery. Right, um... Well, let's just double check these are all set correctly. I mean, we'll change these settings later so we can actually prioritize these power sources. You are mostly done with all of this, though. So what we'll need to do is we'll just need to remove these batteries. And honestly, the wood burner itself might be an issue as well. Maybe we just plug that in somewhere else. Not really going to be an issue. We're mostly just running this for the CO2. Actually, you know what? Yeah, just just forget about it. We don't want we don't need the power from this. Just disconnect it. There you go. Does Corium do anything beyond being horrible to work with? No, I don't think so. They should make hazmat digging give some other benefit. I think. Like, if darkness not excluded, it gives your helmet the best light range. Maybe they could make it actually uh, just constantly provide light, like, in the base game. And just not do that with any other hat. I'd be happy with that. Because it's a big investment in morale. Radiation mitigation. That could be one as well. Like, just a flat percentage less radiation absorbed. I can see that. Right, you're actually done with this then. I think you are. Uh, you just got this wire to do here and then you're done. You hate Discord scammers? We got a scam going on? Can't see anything. Right, so... I think... Yeah, I think this is done, so we could just disconnect. Yeah, you're finishing us off now. Good for you. Now we can just disconnect this. Now it's empty. And we can disconnect this. So now that's connected to the main spine. Uh, this can be disconnected as well. 
Uh, oh. I guess none of this is needed anymore. Well, that's fine then. <laughs> I'm an artist, give me money. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing with those is, it's like... I'm not going to turn someone away, like... Um, I'm not going to go out of my way to, like, ban them or something, but I do make it clear that I just make my own art. And then they usually stop uh, pursuing that because they realize it's not, there's no point. I'm quite happy with my fairly crappy pixel art, and if I want something else, I'll commission something. You were nice to them? Yeah, that's fair enough. Right, and then we just disconnect these. And then at least that's all actually working for the spine now. So now we've fully centralized all of our power sources, so all of the base power sources are running through this heavy watt wire. So if I look at this, what's it saying? Um, base power draw is around 4 kilowatts average. Seems reasonable. So let's just double check everything's working again now. The middle mouse button would work. Yeah, everything's working again, that's good. Okay, let's just double check that George isn't idle. No. That's good. Yeah, you've got loads of stuff to do here. Uh, let's make this priority 8 as well. Looks like you're slowly getting around to doing that. That's good. Yeah, I think we'll just wait for George to come back, and then we'll look at what this artifact is, and then we'll wrap it up. Sorry, it's been a bit of a short stream tonight. I'm still... I'm not 100%, but... It's been nice just hanging out with you guys tonight, to be honest. I do appreciate it a lot. I'm very happy with this run overall. Like, this is like a solid foundation for us doing some interesting things. I'm very excited to go and alternate this with Badlands Boffins as well, though, because that's like a completely different setup. And... I was really sad that I abandoned that in the first place because it was such a promising start and then I just did not know what to do with the stone hatches and I didn't want to waste a load of time figuring it out and now I've just incidentally figured out what to do. So it just makes a lot of sense to come back. Nearly done researching hydrogen engines. Nice. <laughs> I've got your hydrogen right here. Right, you're done. 19 seconds. That was pretty well timed. Let's find out what this uh, thingamajig is. Yay. How much plastic have you gotten through? Not quite half. That's okay. So change destination, go back. And then if we look here again, yeah, you've collected the artifact. Recharges in 93 cycles. It, so is it going to be the same artifact every time? And do we need to... For the imperative, if we go over here... Oh, look, George has got the spots again. Good stuff. So we go to the imperative. Do we need different artifacts? Yeah, unique ones. Different ones. Unique. Yeah, so we can't just go to the same one over and over again. The first one is unique, afterwards it's a mug. Ah, I see. Well, there you go then. You're not majorly sick, are you? You've got minor sickness. Let's disable this then. Let's disable this and then you should pee it all off again. You are a peer. <laughs> I think that's my favorite Willow Rainy meme. The peers. Enjoy being a peer. Poke shells are all coming to investigate this. We're just draining all this water down here. That's fine. Um, in that case, if we're already draining all that water in there, let's just do this. We'll put leaving all of this stuff here. And then remove this. Diggy diggy hole. 
Yeah, that'll do for now. Deconstruct this. Oh, we need someone to come open this so we can actually deconstruct it. Who's going to do that? No one, because it's unreachable. Well, eventually it'll be reachable. We just need to build those ladders, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Not a huge, a huge problem. So this bit down here is open, so I don't really want to drain all that salt water down here. But we could open that up yet another level. So that could go all the way down here. Have I gotten all achievements between my runs? No, there are five that I'm currently missing. Including Mind the Gap. So if we have a look, uh, let's see. So we haven't done Cosmic Archaeology. We've never done that. Um, we've never done The Great Escape. Oh, no, we did do that in the base game. Yeah. Uh, we've never done Honorary Doctorate, I don't think. Which is funny, because I have a real doctorate. Because the last researchers were so expensive, I don't think we ever quite got to them. Um... We, we got this one recently with the research reactor. Might be the Radbolts one as well that we haven't got. And Cluster Conquest. Oh, so that's six. I think we might have done... I think we might have done the other one then. I think we have done Honorary Doctorate. But those are the ones off the top of my head that we haven't done yet. We'll do them at some point. How many cycles left? 1.6. You know what? You guys can put a fire pole here as well. You're probably going to use this. Here you go. Yeah, this middle mouse button no longer likes me. Ugh. So we queued all that up. We queued all this up. Um, I'm not going to bother demolishing all this stuff yet. It looks like they have been demolishing this. Nobody's trapped themselves over here this time. That's a relief, I guess. Maybe they'll do it. Let's actually just fill this all in, just to make sure they don't. Pick that up. Are you still irradiated? You're no longer irradiated. Look how happy George is that he's not irradiated. He's always happy. Good dude. Guess what then? It's time to get radiated again. Make more data banks. This does actually produce a lot of data banks. It's good. Yeah. Algae situation is stable. You like to see it. Uh, you know what? You can remove this stuff too. I'm not using this anymore. And how many rad pills have you made now? Where are you putting them? Wait, are you guys eating rad pills? I bet these guys are just eating rad pills, aren't they? Oh, God. Right, okay, look. No one's allowed to eat rad pills except George. And he's, and he's not allowed to eat them because he doesn't have any at the moment. Stop eating the rad pills. They ate half of them. That's so stupid. I mean, I guess, yeah, look, here they are, munching the rad pills. <laughs> Perfect. At least they're cheap. I mean, they are, but we're not generating more uh, coal. We haven't got we haven't got hatch ranches. So, feels bad, man. What else do we want to do? Uh, let's open this, and then we can deconstruct it. So I guess you'll need to build a ladder uh, here. You're almost out of water here, which means we'll need to go hook up. So what's this feeding? 
This is feeding the oxyferns. This is feeding the bristle blossoms. That's fine. We still have these salinators working on that. Uh, this water is not cold. So maybe we'll have to think about water cooling soon. One cycle. You know what? Let's speed through it. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I want to go to bed, but I want to see what this thing is as well. So, can we just zoom out for a minute? See what's happening? I'm enjoying the map becoming more and more purple. That's very true. Oh, let's open this as well. Let's see what's in here. Can someone do this right now? No. Um, how would you actually get over there? Let's see. You would need to literally ladder the whole way up, wouldn't you? If you put a ladder there, then you can climb across this. Go over here. And then that will do. So if you can prioritize those ladders, then we should be able to open that up and at least clear what this is. The water weed, it's ready. You've never seen a plant bounce this much in your life. I don't know, it's probably bouncier plants. We don't need all of these anymore. Remove them. I like how there's so much hydrogen in the air. And this one tiny little blob of liquid is uh, just stopping, like, it from showing up. So it looks like a blue, blue tile. Oh, it doesn't. That's, oh, it's just all the debris here. I've been deceived. I was deceived. Very possible. Uh, let's see, Sertor. How much piloting skill do you have? Yeah, almost none. Let's get building three. Neo, you can have field research. Ari, you can have level three dig. I guess you guys are going to take quite a while to do all this because a different person is going to get each errand. We have enabled proximity, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Good. Go, Neosa, go. Got extra athletics. Excellent. Good job. Right. How are the Brackeen stocks doing? So, it looks like they're kind of breaking even now with these extra pinch of peppers. So if we just add a couple more, that'd be alright. I mean, these are being cooled by this pipe, so maybe maybe it'll be alright. I'm not going to do that today, though. Yeah, I think the wood burner is still working correctly. You've got a large amount of CO2 for the oxy ferns. Eventually, we're going to move these just to the complete bottom of the map. And then we'll turn this off, I think. But this is also just so we can run the soda fountains. But we probably won't need to after a while. Uh, let's take a shine bug. Yeah, let's have a shine bug. Then we can start doing the payload launcher here. That's pretty good. Just want to check something quickly. Can Hydro Cactus be wild farmed? Um, I don't know. I imagine there's a mod that adds that, isn't there? We'll have to try that out sometime. I'm not really sure why they got rid of it. Did the devs just think it was not worth using? Because they made art for it. Like, I'm sure they could have just made it worth using. 
Right. Can you actually reach this then? Submit bioscan. Still unreachable. Oh, this bit. Right. Hold the phone. It's still in the game, just unused. Yeah, well, they should use it then. We got another Arbor Acorn. Nice. Not exactly sure where that came from. Maybe we just dug it up somewhere. Right, let's see. Let's see what's in this room then. Probably. Oh, it could be another vacillator now that I think about it. Looks like a thermo nullifier. There's a lot of wolframite over here as well. I should probably start making tungsten at some point. How much wolframite do we have? Hmm. Let me select the button. Not a lot. <laughs> That's fine. All right, Jeffrey McSquilliam is on the way. They have been tasked with the sacred task. They're meant to be a water sieve, but I guess the wild farming for water generation was too strong. What, did it produce water if you didn't feed it? I'm sure they'll find a way to rebalance that. Jeffrey McSquilliam is always on the way. Uh, well, he's not now. He's decided to bugger off. Feels bad. Ashcan is on the way instead. Who is scolding? George is scolding because he escaped the rocket without a suit. Well, that's a funny thing. Uh, I guess we'll re-deliver the ammo suit. <laughs> Ego. You'll be fine, George. So George landed. No issues there. Uh, the artifact is still in here. Let's remove that. It is an office mug. Wow. Cringe. Very cringe. An intermediary place to store espresso before you move it into your mouth. So, I've said what they should do with office mugs before. Firstly, they should make them different colors. And secondly, they should make it so that your dupes can use them at the espresso machine and get a bigger boost. Might get one extra morale. There you go. Good thing we had a ladder down there. So let's analyze this office mug and see what's what. Oh, we don't need to analyze it. It's not showing up here? No, you have got a task. Okay, Soil Eater, you are now on it. Drop whatever you were holding. I guess some iron. Let's find out what this is. Well, at least George made it back safe and sound this time. And we'll go do the other one uh, next stream. George, you actually need to get back in uh, your suit, man. You need to get back in your suit and you need to take a pill. Uh, so, let's see. Consumables. I wish there was a setting that you could set for dupes to decide when to take medicine. Like, because I don't want every dupe to take... I don't want George to take rad pills all the time. I just want him to take them when he's feeling irradiated. Right, here comes the soil leader. So let's follow them back and see what's going on with this mug. Operational supply. Very fancy. I do like that you can yellow alert something and just turn it off, and then if they don't get interrupted, you just don't have to hear the yellow alert music all the time. You are hungry though, so hopefully you don't pee yourself. Yeah, you got 90% ladder. That's fine. Office mug time. What we got? Wolf egg. Get on it. Wolfrig is like, I'm tired of looking at Dregos. Time to look at a mug. Yep, that's some pips right there. See, I've got to worry chiseling a mug. I, I worry about breaking the mug. Maybe it's made of stronger stuff. Oh, 
Oh, you probably shouldn't be auto harvesting these. Well, I guess it's fine. We are burning. We are continually burning a slumber just for CO2 at the moment. Mug is stronger than neutronium. Nice. Yeah, we can start doing ethanol shenanigans when, when we feel like it. All right, what you got for us, Wolfreg? An artifact from a past civilization was analyzed. An office mug with the Gravitas logo on it. Through, though the office mugs were all emblazoned with the same logo, Gravitas colored their mugs differently to distinguish between their various departments. See, yeah, we talked about this before. This is literally, this is literally canon. Like, just make different color mugs and let us collect them. <laughs> like, should be fine. And then let your dupes actually drink out of them in the office. Right, so pedestal, pedestal, pedestal. Uh, I believe we can remove the spore kid seed because it's not going to be planted anywhere. Did we stick a pedestal anywhere else? I don't think we did. Yeah, let's remove that. Put the mug here. Who's going to do that? It is Neosa. Who's currently over here. Hmm. No one actually coming to do this? Well, I'm going to make this a yellow alert too. I mean, like them apples. Because I don't want to forget about that again. Speedy up Oh, I need to change this ladder too. This ladder needs to go here. It needs to be like a party nine. Mug. Yeah, there's Neosa. Slappy button time. We got anything actually worth looking at in here? Got loads of water in here that we can't interact with. Slappy button. We got some lockers. Oh, it is a vacillator, but there's loads of ice in here. Well, that's fine. We can, uh, let's see. Do that. And then dig this. And then we can put someone in here later. Uh, let's vacillate George. That makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, so let's very quickly yellow alert this. Yellow alert all these digs. Then, uh, get out of here. It's mug time. Mug. It's right next to all the other mugs. Where it should be. Oh no, look. We've got more polluted water over here. Boo. Peeing in the water tank. Boo. But. George, it is time. Come get your brain scanned. Whoa. Such a good dupe. Now, what do you reckon he's going to get? Yes, underwater vacillation. There we go. That's a uh, that's a potential thumbnail, maybe. I don't know. It's either George irradiated on the rocket or George in here. Watering in the pea tank? Question mark? Indeed. You got beefsteak. Extra strength. Um, well, that's fine. I don't mind you having extra strength. How much strength do you have now? You have 19 strength and you have 24 athletics. That's pretty good. This is like the a, a very good go for Duke. Go for George. Right. I'm saving here. We got our mug. We, uh... Got George back safe and sound, and we put him in the brain machine that we didn't know was there. So, let me wrap it up very quickly. Do, 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 do. Look, all the fishies are ready to go to sleep. But yes. Thanks very much for watching. It's been nice. 
Um, I will be back on Monday and we will be doing our Boreal Airheads then again. We'll go grab the other artifact and then maybe start investigating the other planet. Because I would like to get some refined metal, to be honest. Or maybe we do something else. Depends Depends how I feel. Um, Tuesday will be the return of Badlands Boffins. So that was a previous series we did um, about a year ago. I can't remember. Um, we're going to resume that because it was a good start and we figured out how to solve it. Solve the issues we were having in that run. Um, so that all 30 of the previous episodes are on there. And to be honest, it's probably my po most popular series on YouTube. So if you feel like checking that out for some revision, definitely feel free. There's a Discord where we hang out. We post uh, memes and builds and things. Let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at the thing quickly. Uh, what a charmage post! Something about sleep wheat. Yeah, expanding the sleep wheat farm. Very nice. Like I've got the thermo aqua tuna here. Very neatly contained. And then <laughs> this is an asteroid that you just completely demolished. Excellent. You'll have to see it. Nice collection of gold volcanoes. Yes. So there's Discord. It's a lot of fun. Everything's a lot of fun. Wolfrank's just now bragging about the, the vast amount of liquid naphtha they have. 127 tons of naphtha. That's not bad. Um, anyways. Ah. Anyways. It's not willing. <laughs> it's just accidental naphtha. Hmm, question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. Right, on that note, I'm going to go raid someone. I don't know who I'm going to raid. But thank you for hanging out while I've been a little bit ill. Um, do appreciate it. Sometimes it's nice to just vibe. You don't have to be super productive all the time. I say to myself. Uh, let's go raid the Happy Haven. Uh, Lady Con, let's go raid them, because I haven't raided them in ages. So, what are they up to at the moment? They're voting dupes off the island, apparently. Yes, yeah, so they've got a few different cots going. Let's see what's going on. Trade the happy. Well, apparently, haven. There we go. All right. So, if you have any fishy sentiments or fishy emotes, feel free to send them Happy Haven's way, Lady Con's way, and I'll see you on Monday, hopefully. Enjoy your weekend. Bye for now. That was the wrong button.